game and I'm still the same And I never change just to get a deal, but I'm ballin', ballin' I came from nothing, it's nothing like it's nothing Yeah, you know I done it, that is no discussion Hey, what's up guys? Henry the Blaze Jr. Today we've got one of two new moments, that being 91 overall Amethyst Moments, Lori Markinen. The other one was a Diamond Zach Levine, so they are both bulls. I am really surprised we didn't get a pink Diamond Westbrook today, especially after he dropped 45 points, actually shooting decent from three, so we were all looking forward to that. And he actually had a back-to-back 40-point -back game, so I was kind of surprised. It is what it is. Today we do have this Lori Markinen in front of us, though. And what people don't know about Lori is that it took him getting a moment today, sure, but the man has been hooping for the whole month of February. For those of you that don't know, he's been averaging 25 points and 15 rebounds for the month of February. That's absolutely ridiculous. It's nice to see that he's back. Hopefully, he doesn't get injured again. But let's dive into his stats. And then we're going to go out on the court and we're going to hoop with him. So, the man's got a 91 offensive overall, 82 defense. That's a little bit tough. Yikes. Uh, 7 feet tall is always really nice. That helps with the defense a ton. 240 pounds. So, this card kind of could be a budget version of like a Dirk Nowitzki with a better jumper or like a shorter version of Chris staffs we don't know how good this jumper is yet i'm yet to use this card ever this year he does have a 79 driving layup the post game is kind of there that's enough for me to score in the post with uh 92 open mid range is nice 87 open three is very nice 90 free throw when he does go to the line he doesn't really have any dunking stats here but you never know with bigs they'd be dunking at the most random time now the man doesn't have ball control or passing his defense is subpar at best a 58 block is really tough 65 steal 70 shot contest i mean eh I guess he definitely can rebound though his speed is not too bad hopefully he doesn't feel as slow in game as it looks he does have 90 hustle so he should be running down the court that's nice he's got 69 strength so he's gonna be bullied in the post this card is really just meant to be a seven foot shooter the more I look at it 65 lateral quickness I can now see why his defense is so low oh my goodness but uh, yeah on the offensive end at least he's looking pretty good now as far as the badges here he has no Hall of Fame badges but he does have hustle rebound corner specialist mid-range dead eye put back king deep range dead eye is really nice lob city finisher difficult shots pick and popper catch and shoot and tireless scorer i like all three of those badges and then he's also got the usual microwave spark plug and clutch performer which i was waiting to see eventually so he's got the badges you want he's got the stats on the offensive end hopefully he's not too big of a liability on the defensive end but it's time to see what this lori marketing has in store for us guys so without further ado let's hop into a game and let's see what amethyst lori has in store for us Let's get into it. All right, and our matchup for today is looking like Magic Johnson, George Gervin, Giannis. Tim Duncan is a great defender that's going to be tough, as well as Hakeem Olajuwon. Lori, it's time to see what you got, man. All right, boys, here we go. Jump ball. You know my boy Shaq don't lose it. Give it to me. You don't even have to try to jump. That's cool. And he's not really playing defense. I'll take that easy bucket with Shaq to start the game then. See Lori there? Slash into the rim. Going all the way, we're drawing a foul with a little bit of leg there to start the game. I want to take a look at his jumper. I feel like it's going to be a bit on the slower side, but this card, he could play very similar to Porzingis, depending on how easy that jumper ends up being. I haven't really used a Lori card this year, except for really this one, so I guess we'll find out. Thank you. Nice Come skill again. there by Lori. Yo, this card is playing defense. Oh, Shaq, you can have another bucket there. Hey! Oh my goodness. I know Shaq was never that, that athletic, man. God damn. Scoring on Duncan is definitely going to be tough, but I think we can do it. Let's get right in the post. He is shorter than us. We do have that 7-foot advantage, so let's just fade away. Ooh, it looks nice, and it's green. I'll take it. One thing I do like about this Laurie a lot is the fact that he can actually run three-point plays. Take a look at that, guys. He's open there. All right, he didn't really run it there, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to fade away again. It's looking good, and it's going down. I love fadeaways so much this year, man. To my man, Laurie. We're slashing this way. All the way to the rim. Nice dunk. All right, so this game is getting a little bit closer, so I'm not going to really try to score with Lori too much. I will do the pick and roll here, go around the screen. I see him rolling, and an easy layup. Wow, I really don't know how he scored that. That was a lucky pass. Let's see, where shall we go? Ooh, let's get right in the post here. He's not going to expect to get in the post. We're switching. I see Kobe. That's an easy three. I don't know what you were doing on defense, but I'll take that too. All right, second quarter is underway. Let's see what we can do here. Ooh, I see Lori right away. Let's get him right in the post. They seem to be guarding him when it comes to his shooting, but that fadeaway, it's still silky. It's still going down, and we got a six-point lead. Uh, mark it in. Let's run a nice little pick and fade here. I'm going to try to shoot around the screen because I think he's mainly trying to guard you. Oh, he's not. Catch and shoot. We finally get to see that jumper. It's nice, and it's going down. He's got his takeover, and it looks like it's going to be glass cleaner. Thank nice you, steal there in. by Markinen. Push the pace. We're going there. All the way. Someone come to the basket and an easy alley-oop. Hey! Oh, how are you going to miss that? 
Just under three minutes to go here. He's trying to play that kind of full court. He press. We're going straight to another pick and fade here with my boy Markinen. Hit that screen for me. There we go. He's open. Back to Kobe. Easy catch and shoot. Give it to me. Bang. Gotta love having Hall of Fame catch and shoot in deep range. Deadeye, man. This time, let's run a nice little three-point play. If, again, if he's playing too tight on Markinen, then we're going all the way to the rim, which it looks like he's not. Catch and shoot. Not a green. Yes, it is. Bang. Let's run this back from our boy Markinen just because it worked last time. I want to see how they guard it the second time. Where's the defense? Around the screen. We're open again. Not a Yes, it's a green. Let's go. Yo, this card is greeting jumpers now. I'm liking it. Let's run a nice little pick and roll. I kind of want to throw him an alley-oop even though I know he's not really that athletic. But hey, let's risk it. He's rolling. Nice pass in there. Nice dunk. Giannis actually rotated really well on defense. I just managed to get in front of him there. Oh, I forgot I got my boy Dwayne Wade. If I run the pick and fade here, I can shoot it off the dribble if he doesn't defend it well enough, which he's not going to. Off the dribble, give it to me. Bang! Let's go, Dwayne Wade. So unfortunately, because of Lori's jumper, he can't really trail cheese, but we still got Wade, the playmaker, shot creator, going there. Get open, someone. There he is, catch and shoot, and bang! Yeah, that jumper at the three is nice, guys. I have not yet missed an open three. It's too nice. Let's go to my boy Roy. Roy to Wade. Wade is running. I see AD open. That's where you made the mistake. Catch and shoot. Bet. Oh, you can't miss that, AD. Where's my boy, Lori? I want that pick and fade, Lori. You already know. Hit that screen for me. There we go. We're attacking. He's open. Catch and shoot. Oh, you're behind me. That's going down. Thank you. Give me that steal. There we go. Dwayne, we on defense. Someone get the ball. Bruh. Yo, that is the one animation I hate. How is nobody going for the ball there? That literally makes no sense. Uh, Lori, let's get in the post. Loki, I'm going to try to challenge Duncan here in the post. And let's see how it works out. Pass in there. And we're switching. Got him. I'm fading. Give it to me. Oh, my goodness. That post fadeaway is unstoppable. All right. Four-point game. Let's push the pace here. Ooh, I see a trailing Roy. That's not going to matter because he's got this man on me. Lori slashing through. We're spinning. Pump fake into AD. And a nice little assist there from my boy Lori. Let's see. Let's run a nice little fake screen that he has to go around. Nope. Instead, he's going to reach here. And we're going to get some free throws here to basically end off this quarter. There's 32 seconds left. So we might have one more possession here. But for now, we're going to actually have to try to win this game. I just realized this game is a lot closer than it actually looks. Both free throws are going down, though. We've got the lead. And we're chilling. All right. 14 seconds to go. He's going to try the inbounds. He's going to miss it. Oh, no, he's not. Look at that. This guy has actually fouled too many times, but you know what? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to continue this game because I don't really care if I win or lose. That is how much I don't care. I could easily take the win here because it's a close game, but you know what? I want to finish this game through. I really want to see what this Lori can do for a full game. I don't really have time to go through another rage quit and stuff like that. So we're going to shoot these free throws here. We're going to go into the fourth quarter with a nice lead and we're going to finish this game. Hands up, Lori. Look at that. He's too long. You can't be using fadeaways on that. See, the thing is, even if he has bad defense there, guys, as long as you're keeping your arm up on a post fadeaway, you're going to contest that every time regardless. The only time you can really attack him is on a drop step or if you get a post spin off him and he doesn't really have that advantage. Three-point game. Let's see what else this team's got. Going straight into that pick and fade. We're attacking. We're getting in there. Uh, switch. Oh, see, the thing is, now Lori has Ginobili on him. So let's get on the post on him with here. Oh, whoa. You're flopping. That's not going to work. Give me that fadeaway too. Thank you. Clamp up. Good defense there. I can't be going down. Nice rebound. All right, let's play some quick offense here. There's not much scoring going on. I want some more buckets. Lloyd catch and shoot from deep. Bang! Let's go. Yo, this card is splash. I want to give him limitless. Where are we going here? He's going to be reaching. Look, see, the thing is, he doesn't stop reaching. How can you ever win a game if all you do is reach? Now I got that easy post hook and I'm getting that bucket if all you know what to do is tap square. Six point game with two minutes to go. Let's do something he's not going to expect. And that is going to be Lori being the one getting the assist. We're going around the screen. Getting open. Oh, it didn't work out. So we're getting the post here with Kobe. Because he's clutch like that. You know, we've been fading away too much this game, man. Nice steal there, Lori. All right, slow down. He's going to be reaching. So let's go to Magic. And now I got to get you a bucket right back. Look at the reaches. Yo, what is wrong with this man? Give me a nice little screen there. And roll for me. I'll leave to Lori. Oh, that almost worked. Is he really going to double team right now? That's an L. Catch and shoot. Hit it. Bang! That's icing on the cake! Lori Markinen iced the game by accident. I love it. All right, so guys, we ended up winning that game 61-56. to Not the highest scoring game, but it was actually a pretty good overall game. We managed to score a lot with Lori while playing with the rest of the team at the same time, showing how he played defense, offense, and how this guy was a reach god. But uh, yeah, guys, let's go ahead. Let's check out the box score, and let's see how our boy Lori Markinen did. And as you guys can see, man, in 20 minutes, Lori came here to hoop 37 points, 6 rebounds, 
three assists and three steals with only one turnover 15 for 24 from the field five for eight from the three that should have really been five for seven but i took a dumb three here in the second half he was three for three in the second half from three and six for nine from the field technically six for eight he'd only missed one shot inside the field goal but other than that this card was absolutely hooping and so calmly and it's not like we were hooping on a bum this man was hooping on tim duncan like a good defensive card both in the post you saw those times he was closing out and stuff like that but overall man this lori marketing is an absolute beast we played with the rest of the team here as well good job kobe good job shaq he actually had more rebounds than shaq which is really surprising i think he had the most rebounds throughout my team yeah six rebounds is the most throughout my team that's kind of low but hey he still got the boards and again he got a bunch of steals so on both ends he played really good i didn't really notice him too much feeling really slow on both ends of the court again there wasn't times where he was really trying to cross me up with tim duncan or anything if someone had kevin durant at the four maybe i could feel how slow he was but as far as running down the court he was getting to the right position there was no time where i felt like he needed to hurry up he looked like he was hustling and that's what i love about this card he definitely feels like a better version of a dirk nowitzki just because his jumper is a little bit better than dirk's if Lori gets a better card down the line he's definitely going to be dangerous and again this man has been hooping this month averaging 25 and 15 the month of february it's definitely good to see him back on the court hooping and doing his thing hopefully he has a prolific career and it's gonna match porzingis i want there to be kind of rival so if laurie and porzingis matched each other in careers and kind of had that rivalry i think it would be really cool what's actually weird is i actually feel like laurie has a higher ceiling than porzingis but i'm just gonna keep that to myself because again if porzingis is tall so i feel like he's gonna get injured again laurie could maintain it at seven feet tall but we'll have to see but uh yeah guys this is going to be the end of the video for a card that's going for 23k man you guys have to go ahead you gotta pick him up up. he's definitely going to be a fun budget card especially for those of you that can't afford that amethyst porzingis he's going to be the next best thing for you but this is going to be the end of the video guys if you did enjoy the video don't forget to leave a like and for you new viewers you know you got to hit that subscribe button and join the blazing nation i want to thank you guys for watching i hope you all have an awesome day and take care